am so honored to be here with this year's honorable mentor, Brian Goff, who is the global franchise head for hemophilia for Baxter. Congratulations. Thank you, Eve. Great and to be here. We are so delighted to have you Thank with you. us. Well, this is HBA's 35th anniversary. What do you feel, and you've said to us you have many HBA stories. Oh, yeah. What do you think has been HBA's greatest contribution to the development of women in leadership? Well, I think, I mean, 35 years, first of all, is an incredible achievement. And we look so good, no gray. Yeah, and everybody looks so good. <laughs> and uh, I just think over the years, the amount of development and networking that HBA has created, the, the training programs is just off the charts. And I, I honestly, I can't think of a better venue for the entire industry, all corners of the industry to get together than the HBA. It's just absolutely fantastic. And I think that's been the best contribution. Okay. Now, as I look around this room, there are so many leaders of industry, not just business leaders, but government and science, people who are contributing to the major changes in healthcare. Yeah. Why do you think it is that we attract people? Well, all you have to do is attend one of these venues and you can just hear these inspirational stories from so many leaders across all corners of the industry that I, I think honestly the inspiration becomes addictive and then word spreads and this is clearly the place to be and it's not just here it's the leadership venue that's done once a year it's all the chapters that are done both in the u.s and around the world and and hba has become such a draw because again there's no better way to connect so many people together and really focus on how we're going to grow women leaders across this industry. Okay, now I'm going to end with a hard question. What do you think HBO should do as its next act in terms of shaping the future of healthcare and healthcare leadership? Yeah, well, looking ahead, I mean, first of all, so much progress already, but any organization anywhere in the world needs to think globally. And so, although there are already 15 chapters globally right. with HBA, which is great progress, it's very clear that the world is getting more diverse and it's getting more flat. And so I think HBA really needs to focus on a globalization mission, and I'll, I'll be happy to help in that initiative. Oh, the you're other, on. Oh, good, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> and the other thing I would say is that I, I think HBA could do a particularly good job of shining a very bright light on the innovation that happens in our industry. And then lastly, just, you know, we're gonna have to focus on how we continue to think ahead about the agenda of HBA and how we can constantly make it even stronger and bigger. All right, now I'm going to get you with one question more on tape. This is a commitment yep. now. All right, so we talked about the importance of global outreach. If there was one location in the world where you and your honorable mentor role was going to host an HBA program in 2014, 2015, where might that be and what issue would you want to focus on? Well, so I'm not sure that I would pick a uh, outside the U.S. I, our home base for Baxter is in Chicago. And so we would love to really build on the leadership program that's already occurring later this year in Chicago. I think outside the U.S., you know, anywhere in Europe would be a great venue. And, and I think the power of HBA has to be a strong base in the U.S., has to be in Europe. And in looking further ahead, you know, we should really focus on emerging markets Absolutely. as well, where leadership is really needed. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Eve. And congratulations again. Thanks again. Thank Appreciate you. it.